welcome to part two of what will be the last vlog of this academic year, which I cannot believe. I can't believe the first year is pretty much almost over. As you can probably tell, I've got some things on this afternoon, this evening. First of which is I am doing guest liaison for Bill English, who is the former Prime Minister of New Zealand. So I'm going to head down to the union now. Uh, I need to obviously collect him and then bring him to the union for the speaker's event. Hi guys, Hi. welcome back to my channel. It's Kieran, I'm a Jesus Maple. No, 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 Hi guys, this is the Will and Astrid takeover. Welcome back to my, Kieran, get out. Welcome back to my channel. We're here in the queue for Jesus Maple. We're here to superior YouTubers, but it's okay. We're back. We're here, we're vlogging. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. This is going to be a lit video, lads. Stick around. This is going to be a good one. Lit. Let's go. Bah. You're vlogging. You're on oh. camera. I don't have anything to say. Speak. It's for my channel. Uh, what did you have to say? Hashtag get a girlfriend. Hashtag get a girlfriend. I like this deck. I reckon the Pokemon games are decent. Ooh. There you go. Sorry, that was really deep. Yeah. Paige, what do you think? What's your favourite Pokemon game? I don't like Pokemon. Games. But you don't like Pokemon. Oh. Well, actually, we can use this I to test like something. As well, we can use this to test something out. Game? Yeah. Black and white. Black and white was the first. Don't comment Pokemon questions. I can't answer them. Comment with Pokemon questions. Kieran will answer all, any and all. Look at these. These two. I played Pokemon Go. You don't like Pokemon Go. I said I said I haven't played it. Not that I heard. No, 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 but she says she doesn't like Pokemon. Oh, what do you say to that? Maybe it's more that I don't know much about Pokemon. It's really good. Yeah, we can't yeah, fully make an informed judgment. <laughs> yeah. No, well, it's like my new it's Pokemon okay. So we exit one queue for another. That's life, isn't it? Life is just about queues. Just queuing and waiting. Oh. So yes, we are finally in. Uh, we've just had crepes, which was nice, and now we're trying to find the pizza and the cocktails. And um, we're just gonna we're gonna have a good time, aren't we, Paige? We're gonna have a great time. We I'm are. enjoying myself already. <laughs> Let's see if we can keep this up for the next how many hours? Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to get through this maze, the other long, difficult maze. We're trying to get out. Everybody inside! So last on the surface, but somehow we can't get no worse. Yes, it's So we've just been walked to uh, Zorban, something like that. Uh, that was fun, <laughs> very fun. Um, yeah, it was just really good fun. Um, we're just looking around, see what else there is. You know, if you look over there, and you know, just look around, you can see different uh, things on. They're, they're playing movie at the moment. Um, just, it's been a good night so far. Yes. 
so we've officially survived. We how, do, how does it feel to have survived? It feels good. I'm a little bit tired now. I'm yes. Really I, think, really I think tired is probably an understatement. Yeah. Um, yeah. How did you find the whole? I loved it. It was brilliant. It was really good. Yeah. I never felt very Especially with this group. Yeah, so, I know, I know. So yes, whilst you get a short journey back to yours, I've got, I I've got the long journey, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I've got five years, but I, I think we both agree that next stop is bed. As you probably can tell by the time, I did have a long sleep, but I think that was definitely needed. Last night was just brilliant. It was really, just, it was, it was just really good fun. Um, yeah, uh, really just, it was it was good fun. Um, I was with great people like Paige and Astrid. Links to the uh, to their channels in the description below. Just to note, the speakers event with Bill English beforehand was interesting and good as well. Um, I'm probably going to this afternoon go to the shops to get a few things in, and there's one thing that I need to do probably for the last time this academic year. It's sad times, but this is the last laundry segment for this academic year, um, which I cannot believe. Um, yeah, you're going to have to um, just cope without the laundry segments for a while, but they will be back next academic year. Um, I can assure you of that. I've got my clothes here, I've got what I need, so I'll probably put it on uh, and have something to eat while the cycle um, proceeds. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, thank you for being here for all the laundry segments and uh, thank you for being here for this last laundry segment. So I'm actually going to a formal this evening uh, here at college. Uh, formals, for those who don't know, are free course meals. Uh, very nice um, and a very good atmosphere. Um, this is the, actually the first formal I think I've been to this term. Yes, I think so. I think that sounds right. Um, this one's actually themed, so sometimes we do have themed formals. This one's a uh, Great Gatsby Fiend Formal, so that should be uh, exciting. So I'll be heading over to that soon. delicious especially the dessert and uh, that was really nice uh, and yeah it was just a really good atmosphere it was nice to hang out with friends uh, and catch up with them and afterwards uh, pretty much just came back to my room and just just been relaxing really just uh, not really getting up too much to be honest um, I'll probably go to bed I need to catch up on a lot of sleep to be honest I think by comparison to previous days uh, this today is probably going to be more of a quiet day. Uh, certainly, that's at least what I am planning, and uh, we'll see what happens uh, during the course of the day. Uh, I think this morning I'm probably going to get some breakfast and do some YouTube editing and get my videos all organised and prepared. I've just stopped to take a break to have something for lunch and also to continue reading my book. Like I said, I'm hoping to get this finished by the end of this week, if not uh, into the beginning of next week. So I'm just going to go and see how far I can get through this today. And uh, This morning I've just been um, collating and putting together all of the individual video clips for the separate videos for my YouTube channel. Uh, I'll be probably continuing that at some point later on today as well. So I'm um, heading into town towards the Union uh, and the reason for that is I've got an interview for the generalist position so for those who've watched my vlogs you know that I've been acting as a generalist for this term so guest liaison, events management, things like that. Uh, so what, 
I need to do today is have my interview to reapply for next term, so that'll be for making this 2019. Uh, so that interview is at 20 past three. I'm heading down now because um, I'm walking there. So yeah, fingers crossed for the interview. In the end, it was only a short interview. I think it was only about five minutes or so. Uh, I think it went well. Uh, fingers crossed. Hopefully, I'll be able to keep, stay on as a generalist for Michaelmas 2019. That would be good. Uh, afterwards, just went to Spoons for dinner, uh, which was nice. And uh, this evening, probably um, just relax mainly. I did spend some time uh, organising things on my YouTube channel, uh, reading a bit more of my book. Uh, me just spend time just relaxing, watching some YouTube videos as well. Um, probably now going to go to the buttery with my friend, probably play some pool and possibly some Mario Kart as well, which would be nice, uh, and then probably bed afterwards. So it's not too long till the end of term now, which I still can't believe, to be honest. Today, probably this morning at least, I'll probably go to the buttery and just read a bit more of my book. So after being in the buttery for a little while, I put something into storage, so there's the option for students to put some of their items into storage over the summer, and so I did that. Uh, just put a box into storage. I then went to the shops to get a few things for lunch, and then came back and noticed that my exam results had been released. Um, I did a, I've just I've done a reaction video to this. Uh, do check that out. The link will be in the description below. But just to give a bit of a, a short uh, summary, I got a two one, which it, which means first of all I've passed, but also I've done quite well, which which I am pleased with. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just I'm just really pleased and happy with that result. I think this afternoon. I'll probably head into town, I think, and maybe just have a look around for a little bit. Um, but there is one thing I need to do, probably, again, for the last time this term. So welcome back to the Law Snapshot segment, what will probably be the last one for this uh, academic year at least. Um, I thought we would look at automatism, which is another defence available in the criminal law. Uh, distinctions often made between sane automatism and insane automatism. Insane automatism is essentially the defence of insanity. Sane automatism is looked at uh, in the case of Bratty, where Lord Dennings said, refers to an act done by the muscles without control by the mind, such as a spasm. Uh, and so there are three elements to the defence of automatism. The first uh, element is that you need a total loss of voluntary control. That means it can't be a reduced loss or partial loss. It has to be total. The second element is you need an external factor. So with insanity, the, we looked at essentially the, the need for a disease of the mind, which is essentially uh, the need for an internal factor. Uh, automatism uh, needs an external factor. So that could be a swarm of bees. It could be a stone uh, flying through the car window and knocking you unconscious, for instance. Um, sometimes uh, there may be mixed uh, causes, so you could have a mixture of internal and external causes. The, the test there is whether the external cause on its own would be sufficient. Um, if, it wouldn't, if it wouldn't have been sufficient, then it's probably, then your consequence, your total loss, probably derived from the internal factor which means that insanity might be the more appropriate defence to apply. If, if the external cause would have been sufficient, then you would continue on to the third requirement. And the third requirement is an exclusion of self-inducement. And what that basically means is, if, for instance, um, you know, it could be you suffer from hair fever and you know you suffer from hair fever, but you don't, you don't take any of the... Uh, requiring you know, anything you you don't you know take anything that will help you you know to stop sneezing or you know like antihistamines. Uh, you go into an area and which is clearly full of pollen and high levels. Uh, you sneeze and then as a result you slap someone across the face or knock someone out. Um, there might be an argument, certainly an argument might be made uh, in court that you were you self-induced that automatism because you knew you suffered from ear fever. You did nothing about it. Uh, and therefore, well, how could it really be? Uh, how could automatism really apply to you? 
So that could be in one. Another situation could be alcohol and drugs, uh, potentially. But of course, remember that um, that they will be subject to intoxication rules. So although although automatism might not apply, you might be able to argue that because of the intoxication, you didn't have the requisite mens rea for the particular offence. So those are the three elements uh, to the defence of automatism. And that is the last, probably the last law snap, snap, snapshot segment. Um, I hope you've enjoyed them. Um, if you want me to do more law videos during the holidays, or if you want me, certainly you want me to continue these uh, law snapshot segments next uh, academic year, do let me know in the comment section below. Tell me what you thought about uh, you about these uh, segments. Uh, I would appreciate any comments that you give. And yeah, I'll hopefully see you in the next Lost Snapshot segment. So I decided to go into town to have a look around for a bit, and then afterwards just came back to college, had something for dinner, and now I need to start the process of packing. As it says, obviously a lot to pack, clothes, books, things like that. Probably start clothes first, uh, finish, hopefully get that done tonight, and then start books as well, and then get and other things and get that finished. Tomorrow, because uh, by the end of tomorrow, I will have left Cambridge to head back home. <laughs>
watch this space. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Um, just don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Like I said, you can subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can do that by clicking here. And um, you click on this playlist and, and you can catch uh, up on my vlogs. Or if you haven't seen them, you can start watching them. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.